Welcome to Studio 863. I'm your host, Hollywood Jackson, and today I'm going to show you how to convert a MIDI file to a WAV file in the Reason 10 software. Alright, so today I'm going to share with you guys uh, one of the problems I've been having with my setup. What has happened here essentially is, as you can see, all these MIDI tracks here. So what I've done is I've painted myself into a corner with all these tracks because as you have all these MIDI tracks, they use up your CPU. And so I'm already skating on the edge because there's two, four, there's six uh, MIDI tracks plus six VSTs running on my guitar and bass uh, right here. So just these alone just the VSTs running the guitar programs alone is enough to make it lag up a little bit. But the problem I'm having is when, when you add the MIDI to it, it takes up that much more CPU, and so it lags, making real-time mixing virtually impossible. Now, I don't know where you would use this converting MIDI to WAVE for any other reason other than for this reason. And so today... What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to convert this MIDI file into a WAV file to save your CPU. Um, the reason I'm doing it is because I still have more instruments to add. And so one of the one of the first things you want to keep in mind when you're doing this is, am I done with my MIDI track? If I'm finished and complete with my track and I have it exactly the way I want to, then it's okay to convert it because you can't convert it back that I'm aware of. You want to make sure that you have your MIDI file completely 100% the way that you want it before you change it to a wave. I'm going to do the piano first because it's the simplest. Okay, and so this is what we have. All right, and so the first thing that you want to do before you do anything at all is go to your mixer and raise the volume back to zero because if you don't it's going to record it at the volume that it's set at so we want to raise that back to zero and so now what I want to do is I'm going to click on that channel and I'm going to click control T which will create me another track and I want to label that track okay so now I'm going to solo this as it is. All right. Now we're going to go to the rack. We're going to find this in our rack. Oh boy. Here we go. All right. And so here's our piano right here. We're going to open that channel. And all the way down here on the end, see it says record source. You want to click that. All right, now we're going to go back. And so what we're going to do is we're going to click record. And we're also going to assign it. So we go here to the end and we go up to stereo input because we want both sides. And now we want to click on nice grand. So now what we've done effectively is we've assigned this to record this MIDI track. And make sure it's soloed because anything that's soloed with it is going to end up on this track. So if I solo two things, it's going to end up on that track. And it's a cool way also to bounce tracks. Turn off our pre-count and just hit record. And there you have it. That's all you got to do. And that's all there is to it. And now you can delete your MIDI track and you have saved some space. Um, but again, don't delete your track um, until you're ready to do so. And also remember, when you're doing this, 
always make a backup copy just in case you screw something up. Hope I was able to help you guys out. I'm Hollywood Jackson for Studio A63. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, go ahead and click on that like button. And while you're at it, reach over and hit that subscribe button too. If you got any questions or comments, please leave them down below or just send us an email. I'm Hollywood Jackson for Studio A63. Thanks for watching. Studio A63.